everyone, I've got two delicious dishes that I wanna make today on our BBBE challenge that I think you guys will enjoy. So come on, let's get started. It's finger pricky time, it's finger pricky time. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's see what Can today brings. Yes, you may have one of those. I'm sorry, dear. Let's see what my ketones are. Oh, I am in ketosis again. 0 0.6. 72 hours after my, right? 0.6. Point four, my normal. Mm, I'd say it's gonna be like a 99. You, you feel like, a, oh. Oh, see, I felt high this morning. Oops, 111. You know how I can tell, I'm starting to tell. How? If I wake up like super nervous. You are not in GKI ketosis at a 10.2. Man, don't make me think in the morning. I'm retired too. Okay, you guys. Get off Back coffee. in the next Goodbye. segment. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry, and our little chihuahua is little Sally Girl. Her name is Sally Schnickerdoodle, but we call her Sally Girl, and you'll see her come on occasion, especially at the end, and if she hears the word eggs or beef. Yes, indeed. Or cheese. Or cheese, but we're not having any of that because we are doing BBBE hard core this month hardcore is one step up from just the bbbe diet the bbbe diet was created by was created by dr ken berry and it basically consists of all of the ruminant animals beef you know beef elk bison deer goat sheep etc ruminant animals are animals that have multiple stomachs and they're usually hooved and um He's got that on there. You can have bacon, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And the butter part are the fats, and that includes the fats from animals such as tallow, such as bacon grease, and of course, the butter part. Now, Dr. Berry has said that you can have a little bit of French's mustard. You can have a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Thus, a lot of YouTubers out there, when they do the BBBE diet, make the uh, butter bacon mayonnaise. Unfortunately, we cannot because all of the recipes I have seen have a little bit of apple cider vinegar. They have some kind of mustard in them. They even may have a little bit of lemon juice instead of apple cider vinegar because you need the acidity for the tang in it. Now, the reason why we can't do it is because we're doing hardcore, which means we are not adding any spices. Any seasonings, any condiments except for the butter, the lard, the bacon grease, the tallow, and we are adding Redmond's real salt and the Redmond's smoked salt only. Not the garlic salt or the onion salts or any of the salts that have an additional spice or herb ingredient in it. We want to be as clean as possible on this challenge. So there are some recipes that I know Anita has and Joe and Rachel have and all these other people that do BBB and E. However, let's say we're allergic to turmeric and we don't know it, but we're using French's mustard. That defeats the whole purpose of doing this to clean out our system because French's mustard and most mustards have the yellow color comes from turmeric. So we are trying to keep it as clean as possible to give our chance of our inflammation and everything to calm down, raise our ketones up, level off our glucose. Harry and I are going through some major issues with glucose since we both had a colonoscopy. 
and our ketones. He had to take a different formulation than I do uh, for his uh, clean out and prep than what I had to because I am allergic to aspartame and his had aspartame in it. And unfortunately, most of the uh, colonoscopy preps do. So I had to do a whole uh, poly propyl glycanol or polypropyl glycanol, the Miralax. I had to drink a whole jar in a gallon of water. And I think that that is in my system and it's giving me issues. So well, sure it is. Uh, I mean, I'm still we issues. both bloated. I feel better today. Um, I feel more perky today. And the reason for that is too. Okay, Harry's doing this. The, the, Yes, I'm gonna go into all of that, Harry. The 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 the. Yeah, I can't speak. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. But yeah, that's so, a, that's your way of saying me. he's annoying. Just, just speak to me, cause he's like holding the camera, going like a dog. You know, the dogs can't talk, but they're perfectly. They're telling. They're, they're they're looking at you, and then they're pointing at the bacon on the counter. Then they look at you, and then they point. And then yeah, they, they walk over Sally. to the counter, and they look up, and then they look at you, and then they look at the counter. That's what Harry's doing. Okay, Harry, I'll tell him. We added probiotics. I got these yesterday, and you know what? What a change! Wait a minute. I am getting an aura for a migraine right now, and I don't know if it's the lights, but I have to do something about it right now. Yeah, you take a. You take I need two. to take two fever few, and I need to have it with um, the rest. I left a little bit of my coffee because I didn't finish my coffee because it turned cold, and I needed to get ready. So let me let me go get that real quick and finish. I have quit taking MCT oil and base yeah. for the BBBE challenge, you guys. And I've had two migraines. It is the seventh, and I've got a really bad aura going on. My auras are, I get blight, blinding white light in my eyes. And lights, I become light sensitive, so that is not helping. Hopefully, I may have to take some base, you guys. And it's a medicinal thing that I may need to do for well, this because it is going it right now. bad. And I'm going to do that. So, you guys, I'll come back in just a minute after I've had some base. And I'll explain why MCT and base helps with migraines. Okay, you guys, I need to let this go now. I've decided, because this is the second one I've gotten since I have gone off of my MCT oil and my collagen that has it in it, but I don't want to take the sweeteners and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the store and uh, to Sprouts and get some C8, C10 pure MCT oil and take it medicinally because it is a medicine for me along with my fever few because I cannot have start having migraines every other day because I have to be able to function. I have to be able to drive. And um, my migraines are ocular. I get an ocular aura. Where I get bright blinding light and then the lights break into fragments and geodesic shapes and it sparklies. I mean, it's beautiful, but if I don't catch it in time and give it about 25 to 30 minutes to work, um, it will go into a horrible sick migraine. And I have not had one of those in a long time because I've been able to catch it with MCT oil. Ketones up to the brain as fast as you can get them by taking ketones BHB, base, uh, MCT oils, your liver can process those immediately. It doesn't have to break down fat in your cells to make ketones and go through the process in the liver. It can get those right where they need to go and that's feeding my brain the ketones. So um, it's important the minute I start getting an aura to get those ketones in me. So I'm going to add for me only some MCT oil, pure oil every day, or maybe some of the BHB or base because I need it medicinally to keep my migraines at bay. I take it every day. I've taken it for granted because I am almost migraine free. I probably only get like one a month when I'm taking that every day. Yeah, and they're small. And they're small. This hit me hard and heavy. It really did. Um, something, and I wanted to bring this up while this is working. I've got my coffee with my um, product in it that I'm uh, drinking. Caffeine pushes it through your system faster. 
And of course, she's having Momento coffee. And I'm chugging it. I'm having the Guatemala Finca, which is my favorite. Oh, speaking of which, why don't you show my little coffee bar area? You guys, I'm getting my little coffee bar on. I've got the, my polka dots. Getting my, I've got my momentum coffee here. I've got to add my, um, the rest of these. We've got to decide which one. And we've been putting um, powdered butter in our coffee. It's more buttery and more creamy than using whole butter. Yeah. It really is. You Works can really great. taste it. It's more cream-like and it really is good. I'm gonna turn this off noise-wise. And you guys, we have not eaten yet and it is 12.46. I need to eat something with this. I do. And if I, my eyes look weird or I keep blinking, it's because I'm very light sensitive at this time. I want to share this with everybody. I want you guys to see what happens. And, and how it works. Because you might know somebody. Because you or may you know somebody yourself. or you may be experiencing it too. When I went to my neurologist, because I was seeing him on a regular basis for the migraines, he put me on Feverfew, which is this right here. And he said, you need to have calcium, magnesium, and zinc. And I take one every single night. And I take Feverfew, two of these, when I start getting my ocular aura, an aura is a precondition. It can be a smell, a sensitivity, something that happens every time right before you get a migraine. And mine is an aura with the light and it starts small and then it spreads. And I can't drive, I can't see because I have this blinding sparkly lights through my eyes. Even if I close my eyes, it's in the same. If I close one eye, it's there. If I close the other eye, it's there. So it's coming down now, you guys. And this works within 20 minutes for me. It truly does. Um, the base product that I get from Perfect Keto, all of the base, all of the BHB products have a funky kind of airplane fuel, fuel chemical taste on the back end and they try to mask it the best they can. Perfect Keto does with the stevia and stuff and the flavors, but I don't want to take those during my BBBE hardcore challenge. I do feel I need something, so I'm gonna go get the pure oil and I will be the only one taking that and I'm gonna start with a teaspoon a day and see how I do. Because it's necessary for me. Do not stop your medications or anything that the doctor has given you. Take them in addition to talk and work with your doctor for anything that you take. Do not go off of it just because somebody else did. A YouTuber, a YouTube influencer has done that. You need to work with your doctor. And I have worked with a neurologist most of my adult life on and with my migraines, haven't I, Harry? Yep, yep. yep. And uh, in Washington State, natural paths and holistic medicine was huge. You could use that as part of it. Now, my aura is starting to subside. My headache is there, though. I've got my headache coming on. So hopefully it won't be bad. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, the naturopath uh, a neurologist, he was um, from India, and he was very uh, holistically minded. I used to take ergostat under the tongue, and it acted kind of like um, nitro glycerin does it pops and you go woo and you feel that and I talked with him about I didn't like the feeling of that taking an ergostat and you have to take it right away um, and so he put me on the fever few and it works for me I would prefer to take an herb a natural herb than um, a synthetic something but that's just me I was saying though that we started a probiotic this is probiotic 200 it's 200 billion cfo there's 60 capsules in here this is called tonic t-o-n-i-i-q i got this on amazon they delivered it the same day i bought it yesterday i want to share the ingredients because the ingredients are clean there is no rice starch no potato starch in this so i feel that this is a probiotic that will work well all of the probiotic that come with it and it was a fairly good price. So this is the one I chose. And um, Harry can put this, it's a, it's a vegetable capsule. 
I can't read right now, you guys. I'm sorry, but I can't read the writing in this right now. But um, this is what Harry and I are going to do. They're 60 capsules, capsules, so if we take them until they're gone, Harry and I, that should be great to rebuild our gut biome from having a colonoscopy, that invasive treatment where you are stripping and taking all this medicine and pushing everything through, it can kill off a lot of good bacteria and then the bad bacteria can come in. Just like after you take a um, antibiotic, it kills the good, the bad, and the ugly. And mm -hmm. then the ugly come back. They're quicker to procreate in there. And then all of a sudden you don't have any good and you got the bad and that's why people get yeast infections and stuff after taking a course of antibiotics it's because you're killing off everything and the bad is like a weed it's like a weed hold please sorry folks um uh prescription refill for mom Anyway, you guys, so I just wanted to share that with everybody and on camera. I mean, it was totally unexpected that I was going to have this happen. To just me came today. right on. Huh? It came right on. And I told Harry, I have to come back on because I'm starving. I want to cook something. And that usually helps push everything through my system as well. But you guys, yesterday, um, I felt better yesterday. Uh, until I had my migraine, I felt better today. I dropped one and an eighth pounds of water weight. I'm still up. But at least I've dropped one and eight tenths pound. Harry stayed the same. Yeah, exactly. Exactly the same. I said, are you sure? And he goes, yeah, because usually he doesn't stay the same like I do. Um, I pulled out last night and defrosted uh, choice beef back ribs. I'm going to slow cook these today in a 250 degree oven. I'm going to wrap them in aluminum foil loosely and I'm going to sprinkle them with chef's blend salt and that is all I am adding to it in order to cook it and I'm going to cook it until the meat falls off the bones and we can have that for dinner tonight but I need to get it in the oven. Another thing I am cooking is I am cooking eggs and my BBBE high protein butter bread. I'm going to make us some French toast, but it's gonna be carnivore style, BBBE style, where I'm just gonna whip some raw eggs, dip it in the batter, put it in some bacon grease and fry it up, and then put my, look at this you guys, my browned whipped butter has just been sitting on the counter and look at that. And that's what we're that gonna smear all. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. Some of you said you you browned your butter, but it still tastes just like butter. Then you did not brown your butter enough. Your butter needs to cook for at least 20 minutes. And about 20 minutes seems to be perfect. And what you need to do is you need to turn it on low enough that it bubbles a little bit and you leave it alone Go, let it work through, stir it on occasion just to check the coloring. As soon as you get start getting the color, don't turn it off. Turn it down and sit, and that's when you need to watch it. And you may need to stir it a couple times and watch it because the longer you let it brown and cook, the more flavorful it becomes. You, there's a fine line between burning and browning. And so you have to figure that out with your burn, with your, um, with your burners on temperature, but if you look at my bread recipe that I made yesterday, Harry will link it at the end. Look at how long I keep it browned and look how brown my entire batch of butter was when I went to whip it. It was all brown. It was all brown, caramel, golden, beautiful brown, brown butter. And that's what this is the finished product of. So you guys, it's finally kicking in. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I don't feel right. My headache is there. So I may or may not be able to show a lot today, but I've got to get this going. So I'm going to turn this on. I am going to um, get my French toast cooked because I need something to eat. So you guys will be back in a minute after I get this all set up and we'll make French toast. I have bacon grease in this pan right here, my skillet. That's where I'm going to do my French toast. And I've got bacon grease in this. And that is where I am cooking my uh, scrambled eggs. 
So what I have done is I have put eight scrambled eggs in here. Eight scrambled eggs in here and I'm taking my emulsifier, my stick blender, and I'm just gonna blend it really good. Because I'm just going to use it as my um, dip, and then what's left, I'm going to make scrambled eggs out of it. So nothing is going to go to waste because I don't have any flavorings in here, other than the scrambled, uh, other than the eggs. Now I put my bacon grease. Boy, that's still smoking. I've got a ton of bacon grease. I'm moving this over here, man. That just threw me for a loop I was not expecting. Here is my delicious buttermilk, my, my high protein butter bread. I've got my um, egg yolk in here. I'm gonna get it nice and yolky. And I did eight eggs because I knew this would take some of the egg yolk up, but then we would have some nice scrambled eggs left over. And I'm going to give you two, and I'm going to have one. Is that all right, Harry? Whatever you want to do. I just need something in my stomach. And you guys, this stays so nice. The butter stays so nice in the refrigerator, the butter bread, the high protein butter bread that I made. Let me get this going. It's got, it's got half, uh, now let me get this going a little bit hotter. It's got half bacon grease half butter in it. I have a little bit more of this. Let me get two plates for the end product. Our breakfast, yes indeed. got plenty of eggs for cooking. So that worked out really, really well. Something that I'm going to add in on top is going to be some Redmond's Real Salt on our scrambled eggs and it's going to be the cherry blend. I love the cherry blend in eggs. All we are using on the hardcore any, no seasonings, no spice, no condiments of any kind, even though Canberry says you can have a little bit of a mustard, a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar, is we are having Redmond's Real Salt and the smoked salt, because there's nothing in the smoked salt other than real salt and the salty, smoky flavor. Careful, Harry, it might it may, it may spit. I don't want you to get. Get a nice golden crust on our bread. Let me come over to the eggs, Harry. And you guys, don't overdo your, when you do your um, eggs, don't beat them to death in the pan. Just fold them over gently, right? Fold them over gently. You know, 
Don't kill your age. See how nice those look? Look at that. Eggs. See how pretty those look? Let me check the bottom. Oh yeah, that's nice. I have one. And Harry gets two. Let me make sure these look good. Yes, they do. Nice and crispy, delicious. You can make yours darker if you like. And of course, we are gonna add some browned butter to our French toast because that is gonna be our delicious oh, yeah. flavoring, you guys, today. Because we are doing this hardcore you can't have the syrup and stuff. So this caramelized brown butter is gonna taste so delicious on our French toast. And we're using it, it doesn't like- make a, It doesn't make a sweet taste. It gives it a caramel, it's salted kind of a, caramel taste. Yeah, give you that taste. caramel taste. It's just, just really great flavor. I think a lot of people are expecting it to be sweet or something. No, not sweet, but it tastes like salted caramel to me. The, the longer you're away from sugar or sweeteners, the sweeter it's going to taste to you. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of our um, cherry blend on our... On our um, eggs. You guys, this is what we are having for breakfast. Look at that delicious French toast drowned in brown butter. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, got to eat now. See you guys in the next segment. Okay, you guys, I got 4.31 pounds of beef ribs on sale at Bash as a while back. And I got them on sale for $2.99 a pound. So these ribs were $12.89. Now I do like um, ribs with a little bit of barbecue sauce, but since we're BBBR hardcore, we cannot do that this time. But we have your butter going. though, can't we? Yes, we can at the end. So what I am gonna do here is, first of all, I'm gonna take my ribs and put them on here. Nice. Let me see which way would be the best way to do it. And then I'm going to salt them. Let me get these all in here. And then I'm going to salt and turn them. Because the only thing I am putting these all on these is going to be the um, BBBE butter. I'm going to take this hand here. I am putting Chef's Blend to give it the smoky barbecue. Fingers right on the knee. Well, I, I know, but I have to do it one-handed because I still need, there, can you get that? Yep, got Sorry. it. Sorry, this is my favorite chef's blend. Yep, my too. For, for the meat. So I'm gonna sprinkle these. First of all, I'm gonna sprinkle them on the back side. You're supposed to take this part off, but I like it. It's the collagen part, so I am leaving it on. I like that tougher uh, skin, you know, I really do. And like um, Dr. Barry says, eat the cartilage, you know, chew the cartilage, chew the fat, get that seasoning. So I am using only Chef's Blend seasoning salt on these. And I'm cooking them in an oven, 250 degrees for as long as it takes for these to fall apart off the bone, you guys. So it's gonna take hours in a slow cooking oven. And today was a perfect day because it is not that hot outside. My kitchen is not that hot. So I can afford to have my heat on in my oven. You guys look at that. Does she need to go outside? 
Uh, probably. Why don't you go see? You want to go out? Come on. Help him make it so you can get out. Come on. Now, I thought about using powdered butter to sprinkle on them. Powdered butter. Give them that buttery taste. And I can do this at the end too. Or we're going to dip it in the butter. Um, trying to make it as carnivore BBBE as possible. Okay, there you go. I have my rack on the second from the bottom. It's 250. I've heated the oven. I'm going to cover these because I don't want them to dry out. I'm going to keep them covered until almost the very end. I may or may not ever take the cover off because I don't want them to get I don't want them to get dried out. I want them to cook in their own juices. I don't have a smoker. We have a barbecue that was a gift from R.W. Flame that we were unexpectedly given. Um, they're the ones that did the small ice cube and we have to put that together and start barbecuing because it is finally barbecue season. I know that's weird here in Arizona because it has been too hot to barbecue. So this is what I've got. I'm gonna put these in this bottom rack on 250 degrees. I'm gonna turn that on and it is 1.30. I'm gonna come back and check them at 3.30 in two hours at least. It may take three hours, but I'm gonna check them in two hours. So I'm not even gonna turn this on. I'm gonna ask Alexa to do that. But you guys, I'm getting a headache now. The aura is gone, the medicine worked, but now I've got a migraine headache. And I get very, I get to where I may have to lay down and take a little bit of a nap because these lights are super driving my eyes crazy because they're super sensitive right now. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video for right now. We'll come back when the meat is out and I can share the finished product with everybody. Okay, you guys, um, I just want to give you guys an update. The migraine hit me. I took a Tylenol and a um, naproxen at the same time. You can do that. One works on one part of the body and the kidneys other. And kidneys the versus liver. the yeah. liver. Anyway, for those of you longtime viewers know my history of migraines. You guys, I have done videos on the importance of ketones um, for migraine prevention or lessening of migraines. Um, ketones for uh, seizure patients, that's where the ketogenic diet um, helps so much for people like that. And I need to, I, I realize that my body went through stress. Two things happened. My body went through stress for the colonoscopy, the pre, the pre um, clean out my colonoscopy and I went BBBE and took out my MCT oil, my base products, and I was not on a daily regime where I was having great ketones. If you guys notice on my GKI and my ketones, they plummeted since my colonoscopy. So between my ketones going super low and not really having any, and me not replenishing them with my diet or with taking the supplemental MCT oil, I got hit hard and heavy with a migraine today. What I need to do is I'm going to go to Sprouts. I'm gonna get some C8, C10, MCT oil, which is the pure form, and start adding that every day. I'm not gonna take the perfect keto flavored stuff that I have been using because I want to keep this as pure as possible and stay on the BBBE hardcore. However, that ketones are very important to me and it's a medicinal thing that I need to continue to do in order to keep my migraines at bay. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I have had my beef ribs 
in on a low oven temperature of 250 for two hours. I want Harry to pull those out and I want to check them for the fall off the bone tenderness to see where we are because it has been two hours. So I'm going to let him pull them out. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take a look at what we have. Okay. Be very careful. You don't want juices coming out. So you want me to take it out all the way? Yes, put it up on top. I have to open it up. There's going to be juice inside. Oh, there is outside too. Yeah. Okay. Now it's been two hours. I don't know if these are done or not. I got to open them. And let the steam out. And you guys, I put butter powder and Redmond Smoke Salt Chef's Blend on these. And that's all the seasoning they had. Oh my goodness sakes, this looks absolutely amazing. Okay, they need to go off for several more hours. They're not done. What I may do is I may turn the heat up to 300. Three hundred and put these back in, fold them back up, and let them go for at least another hour or so. So you guys will come back when we have ribs. Yes indeed. I'm excited about these. They smell heavenly, don't they? Yep. They can smell the butter. Two of the viewers noticed that I'm drinking LaCroix sparkling water and they said, oh, busted. Well, you guys, if you notice this particular, it's pure sparkling water. It's got zero calories, zero sweeteners, zero sodium, and it equals innocent. This is what it has. It's only sparkling water. There is no natural flavors, no artificial flavors, no sweeteners, no nothing. It's basically sparkling water. We took everything out of our refrigerator. Here, come look. And all I have in there is the Soleil water, which is the same, and the LaCroix. We have taken out all the natural and artificial sweeteners and flavors out of our um, docket for the BBBE Hardcore Challenge. Same with coffees. I'm not taking and drinking pumpkin flavored. I'm not drinking maple pecan flavored. I'm not drinking butter pecan flavored. We're drinking pure, simple coffee with no artificial or natural flavors in it whatsoever. So I just wanted to share that with everybody because I don't want you to think I'm doing anything that's not part of the BBB Hardcore. Again, we're not t drinking any of the suite of electrolytes. The only ones we are using is Keto Chow electrolyte drops that have nothing in them, but this there's no natural flavors, no artificial flavors. It's pure mineral electrolytes that you need in a distilled purified water base, I'm sure. The same with the magnesium drops. That's why we're going with the liquids. There's no flavor in here. It is just what it says it is in distilled purified water. The same with the Keto Chow Daily Minerals, you guys. So I want you guys to know that we are not doing anything with the artificial or natural flavors in them. I had to do an emergency MCT BHB base today because of my migraine. And I will be adding MCT oil, but it's going to be the pure oil, non-flavored, no natural or, or artificial flavors in it at all. It's just going to be pure and straight. I can't go shopping yet because I don't feel good. And I'll have to do that probably tomorrow. But you guys, I just wanted to share about what we're doing because we are on the straight and narrow and we're keeping it as hardcore as possible. Yes, we are. Okay, Harry, can you bring out the beef ribs, please? Yes. 
They've been cooking since 1.30. It's now 5 o'clock. Careful. Let's take a PKC, shall we? Okay, you guys. I need to turn this around. And this has been cooking for three hours. I turned up the heat. To 300, the knife. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's what I'm looking for, you guys. And you guys, this looks delicious. I'm gonna push it towards you, Harry, because I wanna put it onto the plate. You guys, we've got beef ribs that have powdered butter and how come this isn't? Is it locked? Close? Looks uh oh, like it's gonna fall off the bone. <laughs> Oops, see, look, it's starting yeah. to separate. Look at that. The butter and the chef's blend. You guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, trade me places. You guys, we have got BBBE ribs in the oven with nothing more than chef's blend and powdered butter. And you guys, they are fall off the bone ready. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, let's give this a taste test, shall we, you guys? Let me get my little fork. I'm just gonna grab, let's just grab a little bit of this meat. Oh, look at this, look, come here. Look. Nice, huh? Look at that. And that's got a piece of butter on that. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. Good. You guys. Mm. That's amazing. And all I put on there was powdered butter and Chef blend, smoked, Redmond, seasoned, salt. This is my favorite. And oh my gosh, it tastes like it's been in a smoker. It is absolutely amazing. Harry, I want you to come. I want you to take this fork and I want you to get a piece of this right here. And don't forget you guys, this is back in stock. Go to Redmond's Real Salt down in the description below. Use our code. You get 15% off your order. Harry, I want you to come and taste this because Oh my gosh, you are not going to believe that. Butter powder and salt on that. It just falls out apart, huh? Yes, it does. It's hot. Ooh, yeah, that's really good. Mm. And it just falls right apart. Yeah, it does. It just comes it. right off the bone. Look at that. Doesn't it taste like it's been on a barbecue? Mm-hmm. That's because of that Redmond. If you have anybody who likes to cook outside or, you know, so, got to get them some of this stuff. Smoke or barbecue? Oh, man, yeah. Mm, that's really good. We're going to eat some? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. As soon as we close out the video for today, you guys, and I apologize that I had the migraine today, but I just wanted to keep pushing through and share all the information I could about migraines and ketones, the importance of being in ketosis with everybody, at least to help mediate, mediate and, and alleviate and control my migraines. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally would like to say good night. You say good night. Oh, that's it. That's it? That's all you're gonna do? That's it? Did you say good night? Ah! Okay, she wants a little taste of this. This is oh, look yeah. at this. Well the smell in here. Look is at nuts. this. Look, come here.